respect you. Try to shoot Kevin West. Talk to Kevin West. What's going on? He's an Almost at it. That was decent. The problem. This is an Explain himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, yeah. denying it. You want. What happened to the locusts? No. Kuno didn't give a fuck about bugs. So he knows locusts are bugs. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I told Great. you that shit is lame. Shut up, C. Now they're going to take you to lame prison. No one's lame. What happened? You're going to lame jail for stealing locusts. Yeah. Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. Kuno's not going to say anything without his lawyer present. Lame. That rings some bells. Could this be connected to Night City? AKA. Oh, Night City needed City citizens. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Sounds like art. You know. Oh, God, Kuno, no! It's going to happen now. They're going to make you lame. Stop it, see. No one's going to make anyone lame. Kuno's need... got this under control. Do I need to pass the empathy check for this quest, though? Is that what, that's what this... Oops. Maybe. Is. Kuno... Let's see. Yeah, to learn about it. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, the viewers in all traps empty. Global kids might know. Huh. Maybe... Kuno West could tell us something. Does Kuno care? The fuck about it? It could be the other You're kids like, in the fishing village, yeah. maybe. The kingdom of That's Kuno. true. Yeah, whatever. Kuno's they got tiny hands. They love Kuno. doing stuff. The fuck do you want with good cook? I, I honestly I have no recollection no of what the Kuno. city of Rage or whatever is at all. Not oh, the he's building thing. himself. He's building himself a little kingdom. It's Kuno's kingdom. Yeah, I just remember this shack was like, we thought it was like Kuno was in the shack or something. So I'm coming here because maybe that'll be a something. I don't remember where the city of rage he said it actually was, but he was building his own little Kuno kingdom and uh, Kuno S thinks it's I found, stupid. I found locusts in here. All around. Oh, you, yep. The hisses and chirps Nailed of locusts it. fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud dotted with little holes for windows, like skyscrapers, spires of dirt and sand rising. Accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case of the locust. Thank you. Or the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. Kim. Thank you. Yes. I feel we are nearing a real breakthrough. <laughs> you think the fax was nearby? The presence of the locust points to the opposite. The phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. It was Kuno. The phasmid doesn't exist. But what do I know? Use your powers. You don't nothing, know Kim. You, you know nothing. Bug was nowhere near here. John Snow. The phasmid is impairing your judgment. <laughs> I'll let right. you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. All right. Well, I mean, at the very least, I, I'm, I'm happy to finish the cryptozoology quest since that was again one of the ones they explicitly said would go away just after going the bye -bye. never return. So, yeah. Click some XP here and get yeah, that's task a big win complete. for us, I think. Maybe get an achievement if I could be so lucky. Fuck does Kuno care? No, he took those yeah. bugs. Kuno took the bugs. So what? Uh, you said you didn't care, but then you took them, dude. You're a liar. It's not. Went and built the whole bug it's town. The city of locusts. Locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Locus coming down like a shadow. This must be I like this because it makes Kuno S upset. When you yeah. ask him where he's been. Yeah, Locus City. City of Rage. City of Lights. There's a tug of war over the name of his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. <laughs> the girl forces mm -hmm. herself to watch Been there. again. The corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. The lameness is causing her physical pain. The damage may be permanent. It's a kind of artist. Maybe I am. Did he just say I? Kuno usually calls Kuno Kuno. Uh, did I hear you right? You said I. Kuno made <laughs> Kuno. Kuno says whatever the fuck he wants. There are no rules here, pig. I fucking say I when I wanna. And Kuno when I wanna. Kuno's free. Kuno's free to fucking die, bitch. This is what he oh. sometimes does when things get tense. Yeah, maybe maybe Kuno will never paint this oh my God, somehow. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Totally lame in like three seconds. Don't let him, Kuno. Yo, fuck 
You see, Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free. Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a f Kuno doesn't give a shit. Well, don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from the eaves. Someone oh, come on. closing a window. No one's gonna take it. Someone's closing a window here and the kids out here, I guess. That's, yeah. that's fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I Without would do that word, too. She disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. You got him. Hmm. Now convince him to leave the cryptozoologist's traps alone. Uh, take a stop. Just stop. Doing I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. She was right. The girl's face oh. appears again, above the fence, just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. It don't mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit. Build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck. Oh, he was you high. Really he wanted to make Kuno a city of city. bugs. Now it's all fucking lame. Everyone wants to build a city of bugs sometimes. I've been Kuno's there. gonna let the fucking locusts die. All right, well, the fuck are they trying to catch anyway with the traps? The instant huh. phasma. He recognizes the name. <laughs> Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. Uh, what? Fuck does Kuno care? Okay, well, f I guess Kuno that's oh. that. <laughs> Goodbye, Kuno. I hope you don't die in the upcoming apocalypse. Yep. Which, which is what I assume is going to happen. Um... I'm thinking Kim's still awake. We could roll some of these checks like I just said I wanted to do. Since we're gonna I don't wanna go in right now, just to turn in this quest when we're gonna come back in a little while anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm kinda thinking about bouncing over to uh uh this lady. No. One uh, this lady, Suna, and see if we can get her to form an alliance with the drug lords. And if you can't do it, are you going to do what you said earlier and uh if, if force her out but it might oh uh we have, we have suggestion clothes to wear though that can help with this yes we do you know i think about it, i wonder if we, i wonder if we have composure clothes that would have helped with the composure hey, quest earlier the innocence dolores day liked little figurines right liked old and little men yep between that's things. true uh, reaction uh, speed that's, that's true if you yeah. have the revolutionary soldier figurine you should give it to her win her back uh, yes. Don't be so pessimistic. Love doesn't die that easily. Okay, so I don't like Dolores Day because she reminds me of my my horrible wife that I hate. So very, I guess so. Very, very nifty. Nifty and mysterious. This is surely what the figurines are for. Alright, well, hold that thought. I'm gonna... Uh, suggest... Wardrobe change! Uh, for plus suggestion, plus suggestion. There's one. There we go. I know there, there's one. Oh, oh. same slot. That one doesn't have a penalty. That one doesn't have a penalty though. Yeah. So that's good. It's minus one I suggestion. Was... I swear I thought there was more than one. There must have been. Well, there were two. They just were the same slot. Yeah. I thought there was like a, a glasses or something that had it on it, but I guess not. All right, well. All right, well. Lady, you don't we want to get evicted, do you? What is it? Seventy-two percent. I mean. Oh. Easy. Thank you. Hey, hey. easily. She could move out. What? No, I don't really need any help with the project. I do want to help her with the project though, because actually I'm interested in the the swallow. Which is cool. She yeah. about it. A glassy look in her Agreed. eyes. A gust of wind brings more snow in from the broken gallery. It touches her hair. All right. Bring me the game's offside copy from my old workspace. If you really want oh. to. Oh. Uh, it stored on oh. a permanent memory, and I'm unable. Hell to yeah. We are wow. so smart. Wait. You stole access without authorization. 
I don't this isn't. Oh. Fuck. Oh, it, it must be the one in the freezer. It's gotta be the thing in the freezer. Yeah. yeah. It was simply lying in the desk drawer of an abandoned cubicle. Okay, but still. Yeah, it must it's be the one in the freezer. It's my former employer's project. Mm -hmm. The radio game we were working on. It's stored on a filament memory, just like the one inside this radio computer. The backup itself is destroyed now, but I'm hoping to use what's left of it to pinpoint the exact location of the anomaly. You just have to go to my old workspace. We don't have a good filament. crowbar, though. Hold on. If it's called an off-site copy, then why is it still on-site? We know Rhetoric, the answer, we know the answer to that yeah. already. Again. It is not on-site. It is in the basement. Perfectly safe and not connected to the front at all. Basement? Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's technically still on-site. And no, taking it outside the building wouldn't have protected it from the data loss. There's nothing wrong with keeping the backup in the basement. What happened was a freak accident that has nothing to do with how the backup was stored. We clear? All right. Yeah, that's the one. You can get in through the bookshop. <laughs> you just have yeah. to do some explaining to the bookstore lady. Yeah, Good. We, we know. Then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building's cellar. The filament is inside Wait, the Wait, it's fridge. in the fridge. Just go and get not it. The fr not the ice cream freezer. In the giant uh, ice bear fridge. I just told you. It has red glowing yep. eyes. It's oh, okay. And then it was moved to yep. the freezer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. moved to the freezer. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. A note from whom? Did it specify where they took the filament memory? Jarisa. Of course. Our project lead, Suliswov Jarisa. God, he was always so hell bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe. That feature creep. And the valley of the heads. Hey, I know about those. The, difference. the offside copy was perfectly sure do. The data loss happened. Okay, that I'm increasingly sure she's about to give us a stronger crowbar. Heads, I'm, I'm hoping so. I don't know I how else we get in there. Into the heads. Millions of the valley of a thousand heads. You like yes. the sound of that. Perfect. Give me the ice cream. Ridiculous. No. Can't you just defrost it? Or, I don't know. I don't know about the ice cream maker. Just here's something, something out. I wonder if that'll give us a new check or something. By the way, we put a dead body in Wait, that what? fridge. Who's dead body? You know, we don't actually have to tell the entire world about the fridge. Who's yes, we do, Cam. Hey, what guy. is it doing in the fridge? You just you put it there. You put a dead body inside the ice bear fridge. Yeah, okay. get over it. Very cool. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. We would appreciate it if you kept this knowledge to yourself. Miss. Why does Kim care? Who it's would cool, I tell Kim. Mother, I don't have anyone to tell. And if I did, I wouldn't. I don't. I might care. tell Tiago. Okay. The bookstore lady. Actually, he probably me. already knows. Says I'm part of the curse, whatever that means. Well, are you? Of course not. Anyway, I don't have my keys anymore, and she won't let me in. Because she's from Martinez, and people from Martinez have never ever seen a radio computer. She thinks it emits elemental evil. It might. It doesn't emit. It receives. You sound just <laughs> like her. She started praying when she first saw my reign. Turned to higher powers. The lieutenant coughs like he's amused. Once I came in one morning, only to find that my terminal was full of those strange trinkets and amulets. Wards. I, it's insane it's how, like, like magic. minor this character is with how much dialogue options are here. Thanks. And here's my false note multi tool. Yes! You might need it to hack loose some ice. Beautiful. It opens everything. If you get me the offside copy, then you can keep the false note. This glorious multi tool makes a regular pry bar. Let's Hell fucking yeah. go. Yes. Thanks. It, it is all coming together. Regular law official. Hopefully this gives us a cool bonus. You've done it, Harry. Whatever else you are. This is not a good boring. bonus. <laughs> it was not This is a horrible bonus. Yeah. Complete waste of time. I think I might just immediately delete it just because Yeah, the... it's a penalty that gives us no yeah, upside. honestly, spending one skill point on it is the is the equivalent of of getting two level ups. Basically, is how I'm choosing yeah. to think about it. <laughs> Bye, useless ass. All right, uh, let's see if we can give the figure to this guy while we're here too. The mother 
of humanism stands above you can't Why? Figure to her? That does <laughs> she's a stained room. glass window. Maybe <laughs> something else. <laughs> like what? Is I the task know. still what on? What are we thinking of? Part of your mind has gone on to other things already. The mother of humanism towers above you. What? The... What an odd task to give yourself, but here we are. If you maybe you don't give person. it to maybe you can give it to Ruby because I mean, Dolores Day is long dead. We know that for a fact. And I, I'm thinking my my assumption now is that this will be like the Dolores Day alike person, which is my wife, which is Ruby. I assume. Nick next stand. I don't remember. Feld ladder doesn't matter. Feld mural doesn't matter. Seal. Okay, yeah, we could talk to her. Talk to Lillian. Try and shave again. Don't care about the shelf of crap novels. Don't care about the cloak. Don't remember what the map wall is. Don't need to evict her anymore. Okay, so we have like really three things we can try and do. And then yeah. do the side quest. Actually, you know what's weird? This doesn't even have the ice cream machine on it. No, it doesn't. But it is like downstairs in that zone. Yeah, I mean, I know where it is. It's just weird that it's not on the menu of that. It's not listed. Skill checks yeah, I agree. It also doesn't have, and I don't think we could retry it. But we never got into that door. You remember the big door on the north side of the like the? It's like up on this side of the world. There's like a blue door, it's like a bunker. It's yes, locked. that one I think you can't retry because if you remember we had a thought that was like some doors you just can simply never open, right? It's right yeah. over here. I know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm walking towards it. What the? Hang on, I can perceive a rock all of a sudden. Nice. Oh, yeah. This door. An old yeah, that door. guy. Ward. I think it was a red skill check even to actually get, open it. I think to be like jammed it or something by trying. That might be one to look up uh, actually after beating the game that I'm curious about is see if there actually is anything in there if you can pass it. Or even if you pass yeah, and it too. goes, mm, you're fucked or something. Uh, I also want to look up the one about teleporting up the top of the building. See what the fuck that's about. Yeah, how you pass that check. Yeah, what happens if you that's succeed? Do you, do you teleport? Definitely one I want to see a Hello. video about. Uh, I did and I'm sorry. For what it's worth, which isn't much. This is why I didn't go into the tent. Typical delinquency. You don't get to Kim choose hates you kids. they choose you. Mine are idiots, but they're mine. I tried to talk Andre out of it. I even tried not to lie to you. Oh, thank Maybe. you. She merely tried to omit the truth instead. I don't care, I'm loco. Okay, but I still regret it. I should have been able to control them. And I will in the future. I promise. May I ask? What did you tell them? I'm oh, figure it right. Out. That's wise. Take oh, your whatever. time. The device is cold to the touch. Damn! Nice. Why nice? It failed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start just saying nice when we fail skill checks now. It was really close, though. If it had been one higher, I think it would have been a critical success. But what are you gonna do? This is a no lad. Thinged sink, an unsuccessful model. Weird. Okay. Oh, the kids are probably asleep too, so. Oh, wait, we already finished the bugs. Who cares about that? What, what am I thinking? It's closer to daytime for the kids asleep. Oh, actually, I wonder if. um... Wait, so am I perceiving this now all of a sudden? Yo, I love yep. to perceive things. Um, That's I wonder cool. if going into this room is gonna put Kim to bed since it's like my new bedroom. And that's fine, whatever. Yeah, it's I bet it, the I, day. I bet it does. It's getting late. And. It's raining. Time yeah. to call it today. We have Good night, Cam. Actually, hold that thought. Okay. I want to go to the pawn shop before I book him to bed for no real reason. Um, so I want to just see if we can buy fuel while we're for the paint, the paint fuel. And bullets. And bullets. I wonder. This guy might know something about it too. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. It's too late. He's asleep. Yeah, it is. Pawn shop might be closed too. It is midnight. For some reason, I feel like the pawn shop doesn't close, but I could be wrong. Seems like you're right. Do we want Kim awaken with us when we do the filament thing? I want to do that before he goes to bed too. The filament thing? It's like go get the filament from the ice cream maker. Oh yeah, I can do that. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We can hello, go. hello. Let me attack. The pawn broke no. this gaze. Nothing. All right. Well. So it seems like if we want to paint, the only thing we can do is siphon gas from Kim's car. Well. Kim appreciates our unorthodox methods of crime solving. He's already said that out loud. Yeah. And we can't take it back because we said no take backsies. So Would he even be able to tell that his car doesn't have any fuel? I mean, we're only going to take a little bit of it, right? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. It might be a skill check that I would, you would fuck up and then accidentally siphon the whole damn thing. Oh my god, so what if we burn think, the car down? So think about that. Oh yeah. That could be fun. That's a good point. But then we could lie. We could say we don't know how it happened. That's true. Mm hmm. Pretty good at lying. All right, let's uh, let's get this fucker though. At long last. Look at that thing. Keep my bag. Wow. Me. Wow. It's a big ass. Yeah, that is thing. a unit. This orange machine is dead still. Easy. Ice groans and howls under the strain of your giant Gavalzund multi-tool until the lid cracks open. Darkness lies inside, but you can faintly make out an object, intricate and foreign, left there for a sub-zero beauty sleep, a filament memory, with the words, off-site copy, written on its side. Disappointment Hell washes yeah. over you as you stare into the almost empty... <laughs> no ice cream! Boo! A scoop of ice cream would have been nice, yes. <laughs> You gently lift oh, wow. the cube from its frosty bedding, careful not to damage it. We should take it back to Miss Lucan and Kilda as soon as possible. I'm not sure how well unused filaments tolerate room temperatures. Yes, but aren't you curious to know what's on the precious filament? There's a radio computer mm. upstairs. I'm worried if Kim's saying like it does not long it can control temperatures, if we, it would break. I would rather do the side quest, I think, honestly. Yeah, I think so too. I also like, she's gonna know if we access it because she knew we accessed and stole the other one, so. Yeah. Well, I, I think she only knew that because we got the password wrong, I thought. And oh, maybe, that now, could be true. At the same time, like, even if it had any intel on it, like, it would just be like, I don't think we would be able to be able to parse what it even means. <laughs> um, yep, another good point. So let's, I don't know, we can slam this real quick. I thought for sure Kim was going to be like, I'm going to go to bed, but it seems like he's just fucking willing to party all yep. night. I can't, also, I can't believe how fucking giant this thing is, man. I, I vaguely feel like we had something else that we could have, like, that was like wanting a better crowbar to defeat, but maybe I just made that up. Who can say? Hello. Yes. What is it? Yes? Here you go. Thanks. Looks like it's the one. Now I'm going to print it out to see what's left of it. I have a theory. Lintel was able to divine the location of the anomaly from this broken copy. I want to repeat their calculation, only this time with better equipment. Watch. What an intricate display of failure. The paper starts filling out with ink, soaking it in a gleaming blackness. Not a single line of data stands out. Uh, okay. Sona doesn't reply. Her hands running over the printout. She's looking for something. She's looking for, for something. Her morning star. Eyes scouring the millimeters. Here, I found it. Okay, go on. Hold on. So the heat board now typing in some numbers that only she understands. The terminal beeps and the light inside starts pulsing like a glowing heart. Um, yeah, I, I want to continue down this second, avenue. Almost. I've never witnessed a programmer work before. Done. I've got it. I found the location of the anomaly. Uh, where? I found the coordinates. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank yeah. you. Time for a celebratory drink, perhaps. Just a Yeah. <laughs> there. All right. In the swallow. Think you can help me again? Yep. I need you to go move those water bolts for me. I need to double check my calculations. Oh. Suna, we're all over this. We fucking love solving mysteries. Truly a task for the intellectuals. Solving the puzzle of water bowls. Is this actually going to be a puzzle? Figure it out? No. 
I don't need you to figure anything out. I've got a computer for that. Just walk over to the circle and follow my instructions. Move the third bow two centimeters to the left, uh -oh. and the fourth bow five centimeters to the right. This Three, two, four, five. What? She only wants you to follow instructions. Yep. Nothing intellectually stimulating in this... <laughs> uh, come on. It's not about your brain. Even I couldn't figure it out on my own. Can you please just go and move the water bowls for me? Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna... If there's either gonna be, like, a check here. Like, some way we could fuck this up. So that's what I'm trying to remember it in my it's head. It's awfully silent again. Yeah, and 3, 2, L, 4, the entire world 4, 5, R. Inside those walls. Water inside the bowls stands still. Measurements have been marked down around the. Bowls. Okay, good. <laughs> Each chalk drawn line representing a centimeter on. This the is spot. wonderful. It moves like a ghost without creating a single trace of sound. This task is an what? insult to your mental skills. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna sleep soon anyway. <laughs> Some water spills out of the bowl, wetting the floor. The lead this task was so easy that it hurt us. The hall. Time to run back, or I maybe walk. This I wonder what happened if we had failed the logic check. Like, if we had been stupider, if it would have been like, great job, you know? Not, not taking us damage? Yeah. yeah. Agreed. All right. Tell me more about the damn small. Get me in there. Yes. What is it? <laughs> I moved the bowls. It was mind numbingly Craig, easy. Everything should be aligned now. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Now, the only thing left to do is to unmute the headphones. If we got the location right, we should then be able to hear whatever sound this anomaly makes. Honestly? Honestly, I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, sick. I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know. Okay. It could be anything. I mean, what sound does the nothing make? How can you even listen to something that doesn't exist? What if silence is only what surrounds it, but the swallow itself is... What? I don't know. Go on. I'm just scared. Maybe it's going to be something terrifying. Fuck yeah. Maybe it's tear, going to the, tear world the world apart. Like that evil ink that filled the printout, erasing coherence and meaning. There you are. You're overthinking it. Maybe don't I'm worry just about tired. it. Let's think about this logically. Why would nothing be terrifying if it's, well, nothing? Um, I'm just gonna agree with logic. Nothing can't be scary because it's yep. nothing. Mm -hmm. Because it reminds us of death, and we humans tend to think that death is pretty scary. Let's see it. Yeah. I want to see it. You're right. Yeah, That's me good. too. I'm ready. The lieutenant takes a step back, and then nothing. Nothing happens as Sona Logan and Kilda presses unmute on her keyboard. Nothing but silence. You can hear some small animal cross the floor in the chancel. It's that quiet in the century. She so... doesn't answer. Her eyes closed and brows knitted together in a state of deep focus. One hand. She's listening to nothing. Headphone. Damn it. It's nothing? No, of course not. Nothing happened. Let's move on. Despite her fear, she was hoping for something extraordinary to take place. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. It turns out nothing was nothing. No. My hypothesis was wrong. According to this, I should have heard something if I got the coordinates right. Like I said, silence is only what surrounds it. But this, this is just another failure. Silence sounds like silence. That's all it is. You can try on the headphones. See if you can hear anything. So are you gonna move out? Or? <laughs> you should have a listen. What? Whoa. Hold, plus two for cold mama Dakwa. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that thought. I'm gonna see. I want to. I want to pass this. So I'm That's gonna see if we have any, check, have any right? perception clothes. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the meta game now. Perception. Oh, perception boots. We had something else perception once, but that a seal stole it from me. Yeah, well, that's all we got. So that's that's still gonna be like ninety percent now. Yes. So what is it? Yeah, something like that. If this 92. fails, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> you are draped in silence like a Here we go. Man all right, into his we're going into the swallow. Space, and then the pressure changes. Okay. It feels like flying on an aerostatic, or when your ears pop, or like a subtle difference in the atmosphere, a weather change hanging in the air. 
What if the mm -hmm. sound you're looking for is too low for you to hear it? Mm. A better sound system? All right, but where would we get one? From the fucking guys. The, the guy. From the discos. Permeates the wall. Yeah. The stucco to crumble onto the wooden floor. They should really allocate some renovation funds for this place. No. <laughs> what they really should do is shut down the disco men for disturbing neighborhood peace. The speed. You mean the speed freaks? Yeah. Of course. The speed freaks. They have a fantastic sound system. And you think they would help me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I could live through a week or two of peaceful coexistence. All right, sure. sick. Fuck yeah. Fuck Thanks. yeah. It is 1 a.m. and we are solving problems <laughs> here in Disco Elysium. All, all the issues are combining into one. And I'm going to be the one who reaps the, the rewards of 70 XP per task.